sometimes when I play a city, I tell a story about a city. It's meant to both ridicule and kind of endear. You know, I like to I like to play a fun game. How far can I push it before I get beat up? But I don't have any really good stories about Atlanta except I saw a fight in the subway. That's about it. I've been here plenty of times. Everybody always nice to me. Got no real complaints except for your humidity. Don't understand why you choose to live here. But that's the cool thing about life, right? Some of y'all's crazy. I gotta say though, you ever like be put in a situation and see your problematic shit that you know would be on the internet if somebody caught it? That ever happened to you? Maybe it's race for you, maybe you did something a little homophobic or whatever, and you catch yourself and you're like, oh, that's that shit. That happened to us at a rest stop last night. As you can see, it doesn't come much whiter than the people on this stage were white as shit. But we stopped at like a poor, white, rural, wet rest stop, and you never saw stress like this shit before. We all were panicky. We're like, oh, these people, I don't understand. What is this? What are they doing? And one of us is gay, and the, the fucking, like, we just had an open, like, we're talking in line about gay shit, and then we're like, oh shit, this motherfucker's wearing, uh, what is he, what, what is it? Cup, he's wearing overalls with no shirt. This isn't that scene, you know what I mean? So, I got mixed feelings. Atlanta, cosmopolitan, seems like you're on the, the bleeding edge of progressive thought. 20 miles out? Nah. <laughs> You're talking overalls, no shirt, 20 miles out.
dedicated for no one in particular, nor would I seek to influence your judgments, whether well considered or petty. But I will remind you, if you are open to this, that people that speak extemporaneously in front of hundreds or thousands of human beings often put their foot in their mouths. It is an occupation hazard. I don't give a fuck what you like, what you don't like, who you mad at, who you happy with, this week, that week. Give a fuck. But if I don't see y'all acting more like human beings online, I'm gonna beat you up. Because I don't, again, I truly, I don't, if you're mad at somebody, you don't like what somebody said, thought, did, excuse, etc., etc., that's on you. You got an opinion, you got your own brain, think that shit, good for you. But if you can't carry yourself with an ounce of civil discourse in a public setting, when you can plan for it, because you are online and you're not online, it's not extemporaneous, then you have no excuse not to be gentle men, gentle women, gentle neutral, neutral pronoun. Just, I know that talking, no, 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 don't clap, don't clap, because it makes me feel like it's like 2006 when people are still talking about the internet. Don't do that. Don't do that, don't do that. It's not like all that. Just, come on now. We've had like a long time with the internet now. It shouldn't be getting worse, you know what I'm saying? It should be getting better at it. Don't be, if you don't, if you're not speaking extemporaneously, and you can plan, plan to be a fucking gentleman.
take two locals. Kyle Jackson still in this room? There's a dude here who looks supposedly quite like me. I was gonna, I was gonna have a side by side with him and get a vote, but apparently he had other shit to do. Oh, here we go. Take the stage, Kyle Jackson. If, this, if the light person could play. Cut is sharper, your Adam's apple more pronounced. I think your, your skin is tighter, you're younger, arguably more handsome. Have you seen Highlander? There can be only one. Anybody ever use a handkerchief? Idea is supposed to be like you're like an old classic guy with gray hair and shit. But in fact, you're just carrying around like a real booger farm. Whoa, we're gonna play two songs to finish what I was just about to call the night because it's very dark in here, but in fact, it is 3 p.m. This is a cool festival, you know? Typically when we play festivals, I don't mention that we're playing a festival because I don't have anything nice to say about them. But this one is actually like, varied enough that I think nobody can complain. You understand? Like that's a thing that you don't get very often. Uh, who we want to see? Turns down. Okay, okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. People from the Northeast of a certain age have a certain affection for a certain man. And I don't know if it's representative. Does anybody like Pyball? Okay, now nobody from Pyball is in the room, correct? Okay. When life hands you lemons and Venetian blinds? Or that stuff afterwards? What's your preference? Only friends? Accidental gentlemen? Oh, what's that, the wild card, the contrary guys here now? So good, so good. Do you know what you can do with that record? You can play it like the way that they do those YouTube things where they make all country music exactly the same, or all uh, Nickelback. You can play that alongside Weezer, same shit. I'm about to get a fucking piebald beat down. Last two songs! Thank you for watching!
Come <laughs> on.